G'day guys, welcome back. I am going to do another clock. Now, the last one I did, as you saw, hopefully you saw, it bloomed beautifully about halfway in and then the middle didn't. And I'm thinking maybe it didn't have enough resin in it. I've made up some more. I'm just gonna check its temperature, bear with me. I've made up three cups this time instead of two cups. Because I was thinking like if it was too thin, the resin was too thin layer, um, maybe there just wasn't enough like movement. So that's why I thought I'll try again. Now, um, I'm going to put brown in the center um, and then I'm gonna put some red and some orange and some yellow. My thermometer is at 39 degrees. Just bear with me. I thought I wanted to start the the video before you know. I didn't want to be rushed. Okay, thirty nine eight, thirty nine eight. Let's let's get this show on the road. I'll clean that in a minute. So yeah, I've got more this time, and hopefully there'll be more movement in the resin because it's thicker. That's that's just my theory. I don't know, but I'm going to try it. Because it was really frustrating last time. It worked beautifully on the outside. I'm just going to weigh out my resin for my white. I'm going to put 30 grams. Actually, I think I'll do 35. I was a little bit short last time, wasn't I? 35 in you. And 35 in you. It's about half a cup, half of one of these little cups. These cups hold about 60, 60 mils, I think. Let's pour the rest in there. This was the only bowl I could find that was big enough to hold like three cups of resin. A bowl that I didn't mind getting covered in resin, that is. <laughs> Not all your bowls you want to use for resin, hey. This is just one of those, you know, those cheapy ones that you get your takeaway and noodles in. It's one of those. So it'll be good. It'll be fine for a, a resin bowl. Now I'm just going to clean off my thermometer here. I will be needing it again, though. So also the, la the what I did last time when I made my cloth, I didn't wait until my resin reached 40 degrees, my white resin. So I'm gonna do that this time. I'm gonna do exactly what I would normally do on a smaller piece. So I'm just going to wait, I'm just cleaning off my stir stick. And I can use him again tomorrow. All right, uh, let's drop our inks. Oh, there's more bubbles. But in saying that, I've really only got till about, I've only got about 20 minutes, really. I like to pipe at 20 minutes. Okay, um, now I'm using the Just Resin Titanium White. That's going to be here for my two whites. And also, I didn't make it quite opaque enough, I think, last time. So I'm going to give it a stir and I'm going to wipe the sides and I'm just going to dip like that. I'm going to do that. Same with this one. Stir, wipe, dip, just to get the tip. Dip the tip and hopefully that's going to be enough. And oh, oh my gosh, I spilled some. Oh gosh, I shouldn't be doing that there, should I? Spilt some. Get out. So yeah, I just to, to save a bit of time because you've already seen it before. As you can see, I've done my my black letters. Um, if you want to see how I did those, feel free to watch my previous video. Actually, I should drop the inks before I stir these. That's what I was about to do, and then I noticed that I'd spilt. Okay, stir that. Right, let's drop these inks in. So I've got brown this time. And I'm going to just put a few little, like, random ones here. I don't like how you have, like, a whole ring of one colour. 
and then a whole ring of another colour. I want to try and see if I can like blend it a little bit more. Now I've got red, it's called Red from Let's Resin. So that'll be just a little bit of blending there and then a row of red. If I can get it out. Oh my gosh, there's a hair. There's a hair. Get out. All right, so now a ring of red. If I can get it out. Why is it always so difficult? To get my inks out. Oh gosh. Um, where's my pin? I had a pin. Oh, there it is. I think sometimes I get a bit close to my resin, like with the tip, and so I'm thinking maybe I dip it in. Okay, that'll do for the red. Now the next one is Tangerine by Deco Rom. And again, I'm going to kind of blend that a little bit. And then do a layer of orange, a ring of orange. Like so. And then I'm going to finish it off with some lemon yellow. And get the lid off. Um, I'll do around the edge first. Whoops. Try not to squeeze too hard, then I get a big spurt like that. Oh gosh. And then I'm going to do a little bit of blending into that orange as well. Oh gosh. Why am I it's coming out in a big squirt? All right, I think that'll do. It'll move, the resin will move. Okay. I think that'll be, that'll be fine. Now, back to stirring. I'm gonna put some alcohol ink in. Um, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just to see how it goes. Haven't done that for a while. Now these are starting to feel quite hot. I might put a little bit more orange just in a couple of areas up here just to kind of blend that orange into the yellow. Just a little bit. May have to put more yellow on. We'll see. Right, here we go. How am I going for time? I've got four minutes until my 20 minutes is up. But I don't really want to go by time. It's it's um it's a guide. I think it's better to go by the temperature of the resin. Yeah, that one's ready. It was a very big bowl of resin, so it may get hotter quicker than what I would normally do if I'm just doing a thin amount, you know, just in a little coaster. I'll just clean that stick off and then I can have a look at that opacity. I think that's okay. All right, let's check its little temperature and go from there. Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Oh, it's climbing quickly. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we're not quite at twenty minutes yet, but I'm going to go with the temperature rather than the time. Okay, here we go. Put that aside for a minute. So, I'm going to start in the middle, only because I think the, the centre gets hotter quicker. And I'm going to 
try and do slightly bigger petals and I'm going to try not to put too much resin on my stick okay because last time I kind of got the books I got the blobbies and I was really rushing and I wasn't concentrating properly and I think I might have put too much on my little stick so I'm going to slow down a little bit if I can it's a bit tricky because you know I don't want the resin to heat up and I can feel the heat coming off it all right so now I've done my first layer I'm just going to I won't worry about cleaning my stick just gonna go for it so I'm just kind of wiping the edge the bottom of my little stick on the side of the cup just to get like the majority of it off if I've got a big blob there so I'll keep going with this one and then when I get up into the yellow I'm going to change colors I'll change to my clean white it's a blob I hope this works this time it's such a lot of resin to waste and I was so disappointed that it didn't work properly I loved how it bloomed on the outside but it just didn't bloom in the middle and like I'm thinking why why aren't you doing this I'm just gonna catch those little blobs so hopefully it works this time I don't know if I'll go again. <laughs> it's too much resin to waste. And around we go. A little bit more and then I'll change to my clean white. Catch that blob. Is the centre doing anything yet? I can't see. Alright, another little layer here and then when I hit the white, the yellow, I'm going to change to my other cup. See, I've got plenty of resin left. I'm obviously not putting as much on because I've still got a heap in my cup here. And there's a blob, so a drip, so clean him out, thin him out, I think it's dripping down the side of my cup, I, I do feel as if I'm putting less on this time so hopefully we won't get those blobs on the other side and with the thicker resin like more resin I should say not thicker more resin hopefully it'll bloom all right here we go I'm changing colors whoops there's a blob now I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna start on the outside because I want white on the outside so we'll just do a ring around the rosy I'm dipping, wiping, dipping, wiping. I'll fix up those blobs later that are dripping. They're dripping down the side of my cup. I can't really do much about that at the moment. I'll come back and fix my, my drips. And try not to put as much in as I did last time. Why are you dripping everywhere? Oh, I'm really worried, guys. Does it look as if it's working on the middle there anyway? Anywhere? Are you blooming? It's not, it's not blooming. Why? 
right, do another row. The white that I've just done is blooming. Look at that. It's already blooming. Oops, there's a big blob. Smooth you out. Yeah, if it doesn't work this time, then I don't know. <laughs> I give up. I don't normally say that, but it's such a lot of resin to waste. Um, I think I might try like a different resin. I'm waiting for a new one that Platinum is sending me. So if it doesn't work this time, I'm going to just wait until it arrives and see if that'll work. So I'm just going to keep going around. Oh my gosh, I nearly dropped a paper towel into it. So my resin's quite yellow now, as you can see in the little cup there. So if it doesn't bloom um, in the center, maybe I've, I didn't leave it long enough. Like I started piping before the 20 minutes, but I've done that before, like on a test piece and it's worked. So I don't know, I'm, I'm no resin expert, you know, I'm still learning along with you guys. So if it doesn't work this time, yeah, like I said, I'm at a bit of a loss. I don't really know what else to do. Doesn't look as if it's blooming in the middle. Just gonna go through and add a few more here and there. Because I can. Just gonna add some more in here. Maybe my resin lock was too thin. It can't do it, it can't hurt, it can't hurt. Whoops, no, I can't go backwards. This might tell me if my resin was like too thin still in the middle, if the outer ones new layer works and they don't whoops there's a big blobby getting some nice blended colors here though <laughs> oh my gosh I don't know. It can be quite frustrating, the old resin. I'm just going to finish off what's in my little cup here. Just adding some more colours up here, some more petals, see what happens. Why am I singing it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I just dipped my bottom of my cup into that. <gasps> Gosh. Okay, All right, I think that's it. Now I'm just going to, because the center's gone a little bit lighter again, let's pop a little bit more brown in the middle there. And we'll do a bit of a, a swirly whirly, eh? Like so. All right, you guys, that's it. If this doesn't work, 
I give up. I give up. I do. Let me just clean my hands. I've got resin on them. Now I'm going to very quickly just go in with my little stick. And if there's a, a bit of a blob, I'll try and smooth it out as always. <laughs> this just looks like a hot mess. It really does. I have no idea. It doesn't look as if the middle's blooming. I, again, I can see the outside's blooming. But the middle, it's... I don't see where it's blooming at all. I just... I just don't know. It's so frustrating. This is three cups of resin. Wasted if it doesn't do anything. My resin was too like I left it too long. I didn't think I did. And I didn't even it wasn't even up to 20 minutes and I started. It's feeling pretty thick already. So see that took me almost 10 minutes to do. Just looking at the clock. Alright, let me get my gloves off. Um, and I'm going to get you down and we'll have a little look because, oh my gosh, I just got resin. <gasps> All right. Let's get you down and have a little look. Righto, guys. It is unmolding time. <clears throat> it's later on in the same, same day, same evening. Right. Um, I guess we'll have a little look. Ah. Suction, suction down to my bench. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now I'm still not expecting 100% on this because this bit here didn't close up, so I just swirled it. <laughs> uh, it probably won't look any good, but anyway, that's what I did. Actually, I need to loosen these. I can't just go all the way around. I've got to loosen my numbers. Like so, I don't know if I'll do it again. <laughs> oh gosh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just wait for the new resin and, and see how that goes because it's such a lot of resin to, to waste. Like I think it'll still be pretty. Maybe I'm just too hard on myself, hey? I get told that I'm a bit hard on myself. All right, here we go. Let's move that out of the way. Put that down. I'm gonna put you, put you over there. Alrighty. Now I will have to leave it flat just for a, another day, just to make sure it's totally cured. All right. Oh, I'm really nervous. Okay. Are we ready? Turn it this way so the twelve will be at the top when I flip it over. One, two, three. Oh, it's got a lot of white on it. Oh, I think it's a bit better than the last one. Look at that. What do you think? I was expecting it to be quite dark. See, because of the brightness of that. Like, it's really bright. But then when you flip it over, it loses that vibrancy a little bit because it's got the white that's dropped into it. Wow. Actually, that's not too bad. I don't mind the swirl. Um, let me get the other one and I'll put it over the top just to show you the comparison. That was that one. See, it's got, it's got more red showing through. Um, I guess if you did a, a background, like a top coat, you'd get a different look. But it's... Um, I don't know, maybe I just didn't put as much ink in that I did, because if you look at the yellow, the yellow there is much darker than the yellow here. So maybe I just didn't put as much ink in on that one. Because you can see the difference. 
But this one, I think the center, I think the center's better on this one. Let me get you down for a close up because you're a little bit high up there, up on the, up on the kitchen bench. All right, oh, my dogs are barking at. Now it looks a bit glary just because I've got the the fluoro or where's a ring light LED fluoro? Not sure. It's quite bright, so it's probably looking a little bit more washed out because I've got that bright light on it. Let's see if I can pick up the details for you. Now this one is much more much more sort of flowing looking, much more flowy. Oops, I've got shadows. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this kind of thing at night, but I was so keen, I was super keen to see what it looked like. But I shouldn't be doing these sorts of things at night. <laughs> there we go, all right. That's not bad at all, is it? Which one do you prefer, this one? Or the other one like this one you can't really tell you know if there's blobs and I did swirl the center and then of course on the outside we've got all those beautiful petals so I'm actually quite happy with that it's growing on me I'll take a nice photo of it in the morning anyway all right well I'm getting closer maybe I will do it again <laughs> oh, maybe let me know if you want to see it again or you've seen enough clocks <laughs> all right thanks for watching you guys Hope you've enjoyed these videos. Hope you've learnt something. And uh, I will see you next time for the next video. Okay, take care. Love you all. Bye for now.